Hey, how's it going? It's Jim from Corbin Sound here with Ableton Quick Tip number six, Mutes. Mutes allow us to easily activate or deactivate audio and MIDI regions in our project, speeding up our production process, but also giving us the option to activate our muted regions again if the production feels like it was missing that little something that we actually uh, deactivated or muted. In Ableton Live 10, mutes can be created easily in both arrangement and session view. In arrangement view, we can mute audio MIDI regions by highlighting our desired area to mute and hitting zero on a numerical part of our keyboard. The same procedure can be done by control clicking and finding, deactivating clips. Control click, and deactivate clips, there. And we can hear how that sounds if I play this back. See where it deactivates. And only the regions that aren't deactivated will play. We can now repeat the same procedure for MIDI clips as well. For example, if we wanted to mute the very end of this MIDI clip, we could highlight an area and hit zero. Let's unmute that channel now. Opening up a MIDI clip in the note editor allows us to easily mute MIDI regions that we can come back to if we are uncertain whether we wish to keep it or not yet. I'm going ahead and just muting some areas. And we can play this again from the beginning. You can see that we haven't deleted our areas, but we can always activate them by hitting zero again and re-enabling them. If we head over to our session or clip view, I have a MIDI clip that I've pre-programmed under a synthesizer. Let's have a listen to that now. Playing against our track in the arrangement view, it might be too busy, so we can go ahead and mute some of the notes where we see fit. We could then go ahead and drag that clip to the arrangement view by left click and holding the clip whilst hitting tab to cycle over to the arrangement view and dropping it on the synth MIDI track. Now this clip is in our arrangement view, we need to click the back to arrangement button which appears up here in orange. Activating that clip. And if I go ahead and drag the clip to the right to loop it again. Now if I go to double click our MIDI region, open up the note editor, I can see where the clips are. And if I maybe go ahead and play this over once more. I may wish for it to be a bit busier on the second half. I'm also going to unmute this effects crash that we have going on at the beginning of the project as well. I'm going to hit Command E to cut this out, creating an independent MIDI clip from the first one that was being looped from, and then activate these notes. And we'll play the whole project from beginning to end now. And that's it. If you liked today's video, be sure to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when our next video drops. Thanks for watching. See you soon.